Alright guys, how's it going? So today we're going to set up a flocking system in Blender. Yes, I said flocking. And it's pretty cool to be honest, there's a lot of things we can use it for. Things like school of fish, flocks of birds, or moving Suzanne head around and having her children follow her. And it's pretty easy to set up, so we'll just quickly start on a new scene. So let's go to file, new, general, don't save, because I'm crazy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just use the cube as a kind of template. So I'll tab into edit mode and I'll just scale this down by pressing S. Now, I don't really want to scale this down in object mode, so it's always best doing it in edit mode. I'll tab back out of edit mode. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm just going to hide the cube for one second. And I'm going to add in a single vert. Now we could use an object to generate the particles, but just having it from a single vert just means it keeps everything nice and tidy. So if you don't have this installed, it's called the extra object. So when you go to add, go to mesh, you can see here, single vert. And we'll add in a single point. And it'll automatically put you into edit mode. So I need to jump back into object mode. I then need to come to the particle settings. And I need to add in a particle emitter. Nice and easy. And what I'm going to do is put the number relatively low. Just so we can kind of keep track of everything. So I'll make this something like 75. I'll put the seed, I'll just randomly generate the seed number. In terms of the frame start, what I'll do is I'll actually put this into a negative. And this means it automatically starts. So just to give you an example, if I press play at the moment, you'll see here that it kind of drops down. But if I actually go into a negative frame range, so something like negative 50, you can see that the particles have already started to generate. They're already there. And one of the things I can do here is put the lifetime up. Now, minus 50 plus 200 is 250, so I'll make the lifetime 250, and it should last the entire frame range. In fact, it probably should be 300 in theory. But anyway, so we now essentially have particles generating from the vert. And what we can do here is, we can go to the render. Rather than rendering as a halo, we can change this to an object. We can select the cube, which is essentially here. And you can see that we're getting a bunch of cubes. Now one thing we can do is we can actually put the scale up a little bit and we can put the scale randomness up a little bit and this will just generate different sizes in terms of the instancing we'll go back we'll hit play yeah cool i mean this could be nice if you're doing something like a water drop so the next thing we need to do is change the physics type it's usually set on newton <laughs> but we're going to change this to boids and boids essentially acts like the flocking system and you can see here it gives us a whole bunch of new options now the mass is pretty heavy to be honest so i'm going to change this to something like 0 0.03 but you can now see we have movement we now have battle options we now have things like misc relationships and boy brain so if i actually go back and play this nothing will essentially happen at the moment because we're not actually dictated, look, this is what you need to do. Everything's kind of still set on default. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a nice object. And I'm going to add in something like Suzanne the monkey. And we'll just scale this here. And we'll just move it slightly to the left hand side. And we're going to make this our goal object or our flocking object. It depends. There's several ways we can achieve this. So I'm going to select the vertices again. I'll come back to the options and I'll go to Boyd Brain. Now the first thing that I would like to add is an avoidance system. This basically tells the instances like, try and avoid each other as much as possible. So if we hit the plus sign here, you can see here avoid collision. And this will kind of make the particles go, okay, we're getting pretty close. Obviously you can put the rule up, so I'll put the rule up slightly and that should be fine. The next thing I'm going to add in is a follow the leader. And obviously we're going to make the Cezanne head the leader. So I'll hit follow the leader. I'll use the dropper tool and I'll select Suzanne and now in theory they should try and follow Suzanne which is pretty cool now obviously it's not animated so it's just going to kind of flock around the Suzanne head so in terms of the follow the leader we can actually put the distance down at the moment it's set to one unit so we can put this down to something like 0 0.5 it might screw up a little bit here let's go back to the start of the timeline and it'll stick a little bit closer because obviously the distance is halved and you can see them, they're kind of flocking around Suzanne. So what we can do here is, we can grab the Suzanne head, we'll go back to the beginning of the timeline, we'll just press play, and we'll just press G, and hopefully these will kind of follow along. Now they're going a little bit slow to be honest, and the reason for this is, is because the particle airspeed needs kind of fix. So we'll select the vertices, and what we'll do here is, we'll come to the movement, and you can see here, maximum airspeed, and we can actually double this up, so we can put this right up to something like 20, the minimum airspeed, we can put this down a little bit. 
Now you can start to see, simply by changing the physics options, you can get completely different results and this is a great thing about it. Now obviously when you start to dig a little bit deeper, you can set up health and strength, how much these particles are actually a kind of battle essentially and that's pretty much the basics of the flocking system i'll try and explain a little bit more in detail do me a favor guys like your video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on twitter support me on gumroad you know what to do take care